Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. This is a video on basically why the hell are you still using fabric stoffer? This, this common laundry product promises soft, fresh smelling clothes, free of static and wrinkles along with less stretching, fading and peeling. But they're not only bad for your clothes, but also not great for your health or the environment. And it's basically, the whole premise is it's just not worth it. Fabric softeners became popular in the mid 1900s uh, because dyes, detergents and dryers were harsh on clothes, making them rough and scratchy. However, with better technology, fabrics and detergents, they're no longer necessary. Yet, they are still very commonly used and most people don't think twice about it because it's part of the, the culture. But in wash, oh, it's just what they're taught. But in wash, fabric softeners and heat activated dryer sheets pack a powerful combination of chemicals that can harm your health, damage the environment and pollute the air both in and outside of your home. The waxy coating fabric softener provides can interfere, interfere with moisture wicking and absorption properties. Athletic fabrics can be particularly affected as they're designed to wick moisture from the skin to the outside of the fabric where it can evaporate. But if you cover the fabric in a waxy coating, it blocks this ability to moisture wick or to wick moisture which kind of is the point of using athletic fabrics while exercising. The coating also builds up over time, making it harder for water and detergent to permeate the fabric. So odors and stains become more difficult to get out as they actually get sealed into the fabric. So this then kind of creates uh, a big problem, particularly with athletic fabrics, because you know, you purchase them, you wear them, you go to the gym, you work out, you come back, you use fabric softener, it locks in essentially, you're going to go to the gym and get sweaty, it's going to smell a bit, it's going to lock that in and then what happens is you then go these, you know, these sports clothes are getting a bit gross, you give them away, you donate them, you sell them and then you get new ones. So instead of actually having a garment that's lasting you a long time, you are basically shortening the length of your garment. Fabric softener, softeners can cause workout clothes to still have the workout smell even after washing due to the waxy coating preventing washing this smell out. This buildup of fatty film over time makes fabric less absorbent um, and, and this also causes problems with towels and sheets which obviously need to absorb a lot more moisture as well as bed liners and underwear base layers which orbs which also are meant to absorb sweat for comfort there are particular chemicals to watch out for in your laundry basket such as uh quartz which is uh, i'm going to say this wrong but hey uh quaternary ammonium compounds uh which make clothes feel great soft and wearable right out of the wash but they are a known trigger to asthma and it may have uh, toxic consequences to our reproductive systems as they're an endocrine endocrine disruptor studies uh, by medical professionals who use cleaning products with quats um, because they are also antibacterial, found an increase in asthma uh, in those who are regularly exposed to them, which obviously in a hospital environment, if they're using products with quats in them, can be quite high. Uh, check labels and product websites for uh, these particular ingredients, which are dysthalidinium chloride dithyl ester dilethyl ammonium chloride and variants of hydroxethyl methyl ammonium methyl sulfate 
or the vague terms biodegradable fabric softening agents and cationic, cationic suffocant. Avoid all of these because they all fall into this quartz subsection of chemicals. The other thing to watch out for um, in, in everything actually, but as we're talking about fabric softener, in fabric softener, um, there are more than is fragrance. There are more than 3,000 fragrance ingredients that are commonly used in household products and uh, basically they're not needed to be disclosed. So we have no idea what fragrance uh, groups are actually using in the fabric softener. The reason why there's not a fabric softener in this video in here is because I don't use fabric softener. Um, I have n I've used it a couple of times and had a rash breakout. I basically got hives from it. Um, your fabric softener, softener may contain um, phthalates which disperse the scent. Um, synthetic musks such as galeoxide which accumulates in the body and many other things fragrance is mix um, and can cause allergies so you can they can mix with maybe the fragrances that are in your laundry liquid um, as you all know I use dirt laundry liquid but um, they can uh, mix together and cause other issues um, such as allergies skin irritations and dermatitis and as well as breathing difficulty breathing such as asthma and a potential to become an endocrine disruptor which affects your reproductive health. Uh, research indicates that scents can also cause irritation when vented outdoors especially for asthmatics and those sensitive to chemicals. The other problem uh, that we see are preservatives, colours and colourants um, and this can be any number of chemical composition. Um, and these of course are a skin allergen and they are also an asthma trigger as well so basically everything in a fabric softener is an asthma trigger and a skin allergen uh, some of the things such as glutarol or glutaride um, are toxic to marine life so when these wash out into our waterways they are, are toxic to marine life which means the fish that you're then eating you have basically poisoned with your fabric softener um, among other artificial colors d and c violet 2 has been linked to cancer and carcinogenic products so basically any fabric softener or conditioner in any form pellets crystals bars or liquid skip entirely Try adding half a cup of distilled white vinegar to your washing machine during the wind cycle. Uh, the vinegar smell doesn't stick around, but if you're that addicted to the fabric softener, try that instead. Um, obviously, this has an environmental impact because they don't easily biodegrade and they are obviously toxic, as we've just mentioned, to aquatic and marine life. Um, and then of course this then has a biofeedback because it gets into our water system which means it gets back into our system which it then becomes this kind of uh, very bad biofeedback loop. Um, fabric softeners can also contain petroleum or palm oil derived ingredients and they are not cruelty free or vegan and that's problematic if you're any one of those things. Um, so basically the best thing for you to be doing anyway is air drying your clothes. It helps naturally reduce the static and it saves energy, which means you're not actually utilizing even more petroleum um, and electricity resources. Um, and it actually increases the longevity of your clothes. So even if you're participating in or um, fast fashion or you have fast fashion items that you want to get the most amount of wear out of the best thing for, for those types of items is to actually air dry them the less rubbing and wear color fading and shrinkage from your heat um, in your dryer um, the better that product is going to last 
um, plus it dries break down spandex and elastane faster causing your clothes to become more misshapen and cause microscopic damage to the to any fabric put in the dryer um, just look at the lint tray after you have used the dryer these are all fibers that have been broken off or pulled from the fabric there are other advantages to hanging your clothes in the sun um, outside of the cost and environmental benef benefits um, and making your clothes last longer. Um, the sun is a natural sanitizer um, so your clothes will smell fresher, cleaner and be disinfected as the UV light can damage the DNA of bacteria and microorganisms that may still exist within your clothes um, and it can kill or stop their reproduction. It also can basically create, well, it doesn't allow your clothes to become wrinkled because they're not being tumbled around in the dryer. Since the clothes are weighted down, are weighed down by the water from the spin cycle, basically it should dry flat and straight. So, <laughs> basically, do not use fabric softener under any circumstances if you must use some type of uh, illusionary um, softener use white vinegar in your rinse cycle and the best thing for you to do is be using a clothesline and drying in the sun to reduce our damage that we do thank you for listening enjoy your morning afternoon evening depending of course where you are in the day and i will catch up with you all in the next video bye everyone